what we are saying you know that uh, sometimes you get children they may be having best things around them best toys and uh, everything is right but they find some reason to cry or go into some tantrums <clears throat> and you say it, there are children on this planet who don't have seen toys and you got everything and uh, some, but such is the we, we can twist everything around you know just mind in its own place and of itself can create heaven of hell hell of heaven so we can change into into hell you know? i am better without this <laughs> if it is okay i will to hear <clears throat> So if we see this patthar, patthar, it is not just academic or so, sometimes patthar, but it is literally like that. It just distorts everything, sees everything upside down. And but it is, it's a closed system. Means when you are patthar, you say, I'm right, this kind of, because you can't see any other way. That is can be very stubborn. <clears throat> so when we are in this patthar mode, these petty things become big. When we see, you step back and observe, you realize that everyone is lucky. To begin with, they are immortal and as was said, nothing, story cannot harm them. It is a gift actually they their nature they don't need cakes to be happy their natural state is of joy and love that is the natural state of everyone and nothing inauspicious in this dynamics everyone this applies to humans animals all whoever is uh, living they all are at this level they play the part here temporary part animals also so in anyone that is eternal they are divine naturally they are divine once they know they are eternal they naturally become free from desperations and they are beyond harm what remains is auspicious nature <clears throat> They remain also divine, they remain uh, eternal, but they can just create their own fabricated problem. They can see everything upside down. So we might use the word intelligence, you know, spiritual intelligence, just to bring ourselves back right way up. <laughs> that will be intelligent. But seen from that position, that is just normal. It is that you expect children to be happy if everything is right. You expect them. It is not, they don't need to be very intelligent to be happy, not to cry. <laughs> but the term is there and it is nice to understand that here is a world which is auspicious. Universe is positive. The way things exist, it is, it is, universe is positive, truth is beautiful, nature is friendly. And if I cut the finger, nature has mechanism to heal it. Nature is our friend. So things are all in our favor. You know, all that is remaining is for us to jump in happiness. There is a cultural program later today for you to. <laughs> Can you explain the two words again, please? These words, mm -hmm. patthar and paras, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, patthar, we said, is uh, gross intellect, gross. Hmm? So and G R O S. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, paras is like a refined intellect. You know, we, what we discussed in the morning. 
Paras can see what is subtle. We all have Paras, more we use it, it will become stronger. That is the secret. Let us create another minute of silence. And as was mentioned earlier, <clears throat> our only effort is to use the spiritual intellect, Paras. <clears throat> if we have it, why not use it? And then the second we are using Paras, we are seeing as if everything the right way up. We are seeing the physical world as a story. And everything that happened today happened in a story. Small, small things. Prashant walking, someone going in one direction. It's all theater and drama going on. Everything of the past is a story. Since it's a story, there is no trauma. In one second, one can become completely free from all past problems. But that is a story, that was a joke. What someone is holding as a trauma. Variety in the story. <clears throat> But there is the world beyond the story. And this is the world of silence. There is no noise of the story. This is the world beyond the story the real world. Story is not the real world. Story means fiction there, temporary also. The real world is eternal. Just that it is subtle. It is different. Story you can make <coughs> performance with cardboard masks. You need that cardboard for this performance. Real world, you don't need cardboard. It is different. We use the word alokic for this. This is an unearthly world. See it in the image of a sky. And in this world is the true family. They all are like living stars. But it's a true family. They have personalities. And the personalities are noble. Why noble? To begin with, they are immortal. And they exist without needing anything. They are never beggars. They are never victims. Never victims. That's what makes them noble. Innate personality is of that authentic love, authentic happiness, contentment. They are immortal. So they don't need to be 
you know, manipulating or do pretense or there is or have anxiety, there is no reason. When we use the word noble, we mean this way. Clean and uh, rich personality. They feel always full. All and always. Home of the family and the uh, and uh, true self. All this environment helps the true self to become conscious. This is the big milestone when the true self becomes conscious. For him it is normal to be like a living star. It is normal to be immortal. Normal not to need anything. We realize the truth of everyone is immensely beautiful. The universe is positive and truth is beautiful. We just need to see it the right way. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm going to take a, a discussion and our next session will be discussion based on a, a epic story. And this is a, a, a story that is in a Indian culture called story of Sita Ram. But we are seeing it is a psychodrama that goes on in our head and it is beautifully represented in the form of a story. So we'll try and see this in a, the story and in this story there is it shows how we can win how we can be defeated and then the question that comes we are we are here in this uh, story world but it appears most of the time we have crossed a line so why you know when they got such a amazing truth why do they need to cross the line so we'll try and see this psychodrama that goes on in our heads. In this story, there are few main characters and one character is called Sita. Sita is shown as a queen. She is pretty virtuous you know, she everything is going well for her sita is representing the soul so the invisible invisible traveler invisible prince that is sita sita is married to the king king is named ram ram is intelligent ram is wise strong virtuous 
perfect in every respect. He is a perfect, uh, what? Perfect friend, perfect brother, perfect father, perfect son. Everything is perfect about him. The whole world loves Ram. Any example of the present time? Any example? No? So, Ram is representing God. There is no example of Ram of the present time? Okay. <laughs> so, the story will not be complete without a third character. And the third character is Ravan. And Ravan is a king of demons. And demons, they deal with sorrow. Take sorrow, give sorrow. No matter what. There is no reason, but he is getting angry. That is Ravan personality. Take sorrow, give sorrow. Ravan wants to kidnap Sita. Why? So that he can give her sorrow. That is all. <laughs> Ravan's, Ravan's program. But Ravan cannot kidnap her because there is a line. And as long as Sita stays behind this line, Ravan cannot do anything. What is this line representing? What is this line? Line, line of deception, line of ignorance. We can say behind this line is wisdom, outside the line is darkness, ignorance. Behind the line is Paras, outside the line is Pattar. Ravan is a king in ignorance. But he has one, one cleverness, how to take others into ignorance. He attends all the management leadership courses and at all the time he wants to know the latest methods, how Others can be pulled out of the, of the uh, wisdom, you know, into ignorance. So one time he comes with a golden deer. And golden deer is outside the line. Does it look like a deer? Like a, maybe a tail of a deer. So the deer is outside the line. Sita feels her life is perfect, but another deer would be nice and she can just cross once take the deer and go back again so where is the you know, big problem there is no problem just cross the line once but once she crosses the line what happens you are in darkness and it is not easy to go from darkness into light and you do more mistakes you are when you are confused you 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 go into more confusion. Darkness takes you into more darkness. Ignorance takes you into greater ignorance. That is the power, the downward spiral. Once you are on a slippery slope, then you can go down very quickly. So, and under the skin of the deer was another demon. So, Sita gets kidnapped. As we said, this is our psychodrama. It is like a, what is happening in our heads. This is happening in each and everyone's life. This psychodrama. So now here she is the slave. Slave to Ravan. And Ravan is not an ordinary monster. Ravan has ten heads. And each head wants different things. One leg is a bit short, uh, <laughs> but are uh, ten heads. Like one head, like this head, he wants cigarettes. You see the cigarette? Head, head with a cigarette. So he says cigarettes, and so 
the slave has to get in the car and go at a fast speed to which shop? Cigarette shop. Cigarette shop. Is it, are there some special shops here? Names? You know, huh? Smoke, shop. Smoke shops. Okay. <laughs> 7-Eleven, yeah, go to the uh, at a fast speed and bring the supplies to her boss. And he says, good slave. Is that the end of problem? What happens next? On something else. But even that head gets supplies and that head gets bigger. So Sita, bigger demon. You know, he's banging the table, you know, louder. And the slave has to go faster now. But more he gives the supplies, the head gets bigger. All that Sita wants is some peace with this monster. But what she's doing actually feeds the monster. You know, you saw this during the Second World War. You know, everyone wanted to create some peace with Hitler but with that peace he was buying more guns and they are all aimed for you <laughs> directed towards you so you never win more you create peace you are just feeding the demon bigger so here Sita is in a trap of this monster called Ravan so one head wants cigarettes second head what does it need? Alcohol. Alcohol. And the third head? Candy. Candy. And ne next head? Pizza. Yeah. And the next head? <laughs> Money. Money. Yes. And, uh, and next head? Fame. 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 Yes. And the next head? Position. Position. So some heads want another person can be so I want company otherwise I'll get angry you know I'm feeling lonely otherwise you know some head wants position some heads want possessions you know some heads one head wants lust so what are these heads vices, vices. and what is behind the vices desires what is behind the desires ego, ego. they are all different ego you know, that we have created based on the story. But the heads of the demon, that is good. You know, there's different heads, they all want different things in the story. Like one head may want some sugar, you know, some drink or some. Another head may you know, want fame, but it is all within the story. We are talking about Harry Potter. We, we said in the morning that that whole story is not our world. It may have a huge performance, but that is not our world. Our world is different. Ravan is full ignorance. He not only goes in the story, he lives in the story. He defines himself in the story. So he is the embodiment of ignorance. Anyone has got ego? <laughs> yeah, so these are different heads and they all, how do you know? Some Like someone is one person drinking coffee, another person drinking coffee. You know? How do you know Ravan has come in the equation now? How do you come to know? He said to drink coffee is not wrong, but when Ravan comes, how do you know? More, more, more. Hmm? You, can't function without you cannot live without coffee. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, you, you find there is addiction. addiction, and if it is withdrawn, you feel that you are missing, you are having sorrow. Then it means any time, any form of sorrow comes, even the slightest, like boredom or some, the Ravan is there. If Ravan is not there, there is no sorrow. Some head of Ravan, you know, as was said, one head of Ravan wants position, another head something else. But it is all in the story. Ravan is happiness. You praise him, he is happy. You know. 
but slightest changes is equally happy to get equally quick in getting angry this story was written 2000 years ago that time ravan had only 10 heads ravan can create more heads that is also going on so now ram sends a message to sita ram says you are in big trouble here you know you are in the trap of a bully here is a real bully is here and uh, bully because it says give me give me cigarettes otherwise i'll be angry but you give him he gets bigger and intention is to give sorrow anyway you know this uh, expression arbiter mark the fry you heard this it was in the during the hitler's time you know he, that slogan was put in different camps it means you know, that work makes you free you know arbiter work makes you free but implication is you work till death you are made to slog till death that is the program of ravan you sita works 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 for ravan but ravan has no possibility of love or mercy or compassion that possibility is not there in ravan ravan forever is cruel forever is selfish forever you know so his program is arbiter macht frei you know that is his program <clears throat> so this is like the, the message from uh, ram i have come i can free you you are in this big trap of the bully but i am almighty like i can free you from ravan this is very important to be free from ravan but there is a condition ram loves sita but there is a condition what is the condition? You stay, in the so you stay behind the line. The condition here is she has to take the decision. Decision to be free from Ravan. That is all. He he wants to be make make her free, but do you want to be free? That is the question. Who do you, do you think it is an easy decision? No? Okay, the choice is either be the queen to Ram or slave to Ravan. This is a choice. Is it an easy decision or difficult decision? Easy decision. Is it easy for all the Sitas in your town? Because this is going on in each and every person's life. Yeah, this the game is going on in everyone's head. We said psychodrama going on. Is it easy all for all the sitas? They are all asking you how to become free from Ravan. Yeah, in your town? No. <laughs> so, you know, what is happening is in the story, there is one more character and uh, other character is called maya madam maya maya is intelligence in ravan's administration yeah ravan is the king and maya is the assistant maya is given a job not to let sita take the decision this is all because if Sita takes a decision to be free, Ram helps and Ravan loses a slave. So Ravan has given this clear program not to let Sita take the decision. That's all. That is the duty for Maya. So Maya goes into the Sita's world and first she is like a, become a good friend of Sita. 
Sita likes her very much, Maya. So Sita appoints her as the main advisor. So anytime Sita wants to take a decision, she sends a WhatsApp message to Maya. Do they do this in, in here, WhatsApp? To get a quick reply from Maya and then the Sita is happy to get advice from Maya. Do they do this? WhatsApp to Maya? Maya's number you got? <laughs> For example, Sita might say, I should stop smoking. You know, she comes to some realization. I can't breathe properly, my one lung is removed, I don't like smoking, so I should stop smoking. So she checks with Maya. <laughs> and Maya says, it's a good decision, but today is what? Middle of the month. Wait until the 1st of August. So Maya says, later. Manana. And and so Sita says, oh, yes, yes, 1st of August, that sounds right. <laughs> Another time Maya says, it is very difficult. So many tried to give it up, it was so difficult for them. So Sita says, oh, thank you for this advice. Another time Maya says, you are so weak, you tried to give it up, you failed so many times. Why do you want to simply waste your time in trying and struggle? Just lead an easy life. Raj Yoga means you should be relaxed. <laughs> Why do you want to create this unnecessary struggle inside? Another time Maya says, it's a long process. Gradually he will give up. Maya believes in reincarnation. Yes, you at this, in this life you prepare, but start giving it up in the next life. <laughs> you think of it now, <laughs> but give it up in the next life. <laughs> Maya has got corporate lawyers working for it to think of excuses. And another set of lawyers to think of doubts. What is the form of Maya in California? Marijuana. Huh? Marijuana. <laughs> yes, that okay, that these are golden deers that come. But Maya Maya is like an intelligence, you know, to uh, prevent her taking decision. That is Maya's form. So what is the form? Money. Money. That is still like a head of Ravan. When I retire. <laughs> when I retire. Later. That is later. I'll do it. Or some, some kind of excuse. Yes. One form of Maya in, in most of the cities is you are so busy, you are kept so busy that you don't have time to find out why you are busy. <laughs> you are running around so much that you don't even know why you are running around. You don't have time to find out what is really important. In the morning we, we saw running fast in the wrong direction, you know, it is actually counterproductive, you know, better to just step back and check the direction. Otherwise, you are in a reverse gear. So, you are so busy, you have, don't have time to check if you are in the right direction. This is like a clever spiritual intelligence applies here. If you are able to overcome all these mayas, maya is like a spiritual idiocy absolutely working for Ravan. Ravan is ignorant and you, this absolutely takes you in the reverse gear. So if you are able to step back and check this Maya's cleverness, stop it, then you are intelligent. 
There are a few other cards, but enough to know that there is a Maya and Maya's intelligence is there and um, Ravan is a dumb monster, more, more, you know, I want more, that is dumb monster that is going on. And this is a psychodrama going on in everyone's head, everyone's life. If you just step back and see what is going on, you see that there is a game going on. It's a game in each and everyone's head. In this game, Sita and Ram are on one side, Maya and Ravan on the other side. This is a real game that is going on in each and everyone's life. That's why we are discussing it. Why it is okay game? Why, what does it matter? In every game, there are winners and losers. In every game, there are prizes and penalties. So also in this game, there are prizes, there are penalties. Except that even in Olympic games, prize may be a medal, penalty, red card. Hmm? In this game, prizes are real, penalties are real. So if you see in this world, there is different kinds of misery that you can see in different places. This model says nothing is chance or random. Just suddenly someone is born in some kind of misery. Nothing is random. Some people ask, is it God who gives punishment or something? No. It is this game. There is an inbuilt mechanism. There is a game here. Each one plays the game. You can't play the game for your best friend. You can't play the game for your children, your friends, uh, anyone. Each one plays the game. You get prizes, you get penalties. This is a secret game. You know, a nice word for this game is Raz. And, and it, what it means, it is hidden, hidden game, secret game, but very significant game. It has significance and it is a game. It, because it decides the lives of each and everyone. But no one knows the game is going on here. There is one game, it is boxing, and in this game, there is one more result, and this result is called knockout. Not just win, winner and loser, but knockout. You know, this bone here, called temporal bone, this here, an important artery goes, goes past here, to the brain. And this bone is soft bone compared to other part of the skull. This bone is soft. And in boxing, they are allowed to, to hit on this. They want to hit the other person. And if he hits in this area, that artery goes into spasm. And temporarily person becomes unconscious and it is allowed in boxing. <laughs> Sometimes a person dies also. <laughs> you, know, you may not come out of the unconscious state, but it is allowed. And so the referee counts one, two, three, fifteen, and then the ambulance comes. And if a person is unconscious, what happens? He doesn't even know that there is a game going on. Understand? Anyone unconscious, he doesn't. Is in a, some zombie kind of state, even when he recovers. So here in this world, if anyone doesn't even know that there is a game going on, in he is in the game, then it means he is unconscious. Do you know anyone who doesn't even know the game going on? Yes. Understand? Anyone in in your town? Who don't even know the game? At present, all are unconscious. They are into Ravan's party. So when you are unconscious, it's like a zombie life. 
and Sita is like a zombie slave to Ravan. Whatever Ravan wants, that is the life of Sita. But game is not even understood. Doesn't doesn't know. There are no chances of winning the game. In the story, one more word is used. Just like this word Raj, there is another word. Those who know the story, and that word is called Sanjeevani. What is that, Sanjeevani? Those who know the story? Hmm? The medicine. medicine. Yeah, Sanjeevani is a mythological herb that can revive the dead. You get it in a health food store in San Francisco. <laughs> so in the story, there is a scene in the epic story, someone becomes unconscious and they had to get this Sanjeevani herb from the Himalayas and that person was made conscious. But true Sanjeevani is the spiritual knowledge. It has power to make Sita that is unconscious, conscious. And what happens if she is conscious? How do you know someone is conscious? In this way, spiritually someone is conscious, how do you know? Um, first thing is she will come to know that she's in a game yeah know that she's in a game secondly she will know who her enemy is the Ravan Maya they are all waiting to make her unconscious she understands who the enemy is she understands who her friend is and she will understand who she is. She is not a slave, zombie slave, but she is the queen. Queen to Ram. Queen means equal to Ram. Queen is not like a different. King, queen means equal. So, Sita that is conscious, if the Sanjivani has worked, she will realize that Yes, she understands who she is, what her life is. It doesn't mean that she has won the game, but she has become conscious. That is an important milestone. If she is not even conscious, there are no chances of winning the game. Okay. Hmm? How is she getting this medication from? Uh, Fremont. <laughs> <laughs> but how does she find it? How does she find it? You know, as, as we said, it is spiritual knowledge. Like what we hear also, you know. Uh, there, in, in one sense, there are lots of spiritual books everywhere. There are lots going on. How do you discriminate whether it is Sanjeevani, true Sanjeevani or not, how do you discriminate? Check if this knowledge, these books, they lead you to understand, recognizing the game. If it helps you to recognize the enemy, if it helps you to recognize the friend, if it helps you to recognize the self, if, if that is happening, then it is Sanjeevani, because that is a step towards victory. Sanjeevani doesn't by itself means victory, but it is it's a step. But you become conscious, but Ravan is still there, you know, in the boxing ring. Is it possible for Sita to win? She has been unconscious, knocked out all this time. She becomes conscious now. Is it possible, is it realistic to win this game? How? What, what is required? Hmm? She can make a decision. She can make a decision. Good. Hmm? 
protect. What else is required? Even in a war kind of situation, if you are defeated in a war, and next time you are going to the war, there has to be something different. Understand no? the enemy. Understand the enemy. Very good. You know, there are few things that are required. You need new information. Then you can, you can, you may be able to win. If you are going to the war again with the same approach, same methods, then it is not possible. No chances of winning are less. But if you get a new information, then it is possible. New strategy is required. In the, even in sports, you know, we, we had a European football in you know, some competition, and there are some clubs that are very, you know, lots of um, millions they are spending on the players. And Greece is not in the competition that much, They're not in the top 10. But they changed the coach, new strategy, you know, of the coach, and they won the competition right to the finals. They won because just a um, new strategy, <laughs> and you, you reach the finals and you win the finals. So, here also, you know, there is new knowledge and new strategy is required. So, what is this newness now? If Sita realizes that Ravan is a big monster, but Ravan is dependent on the supplies, Ravan needs, maybe said Sita herself, soul, invisible traveler, he needs nothing. That is the strength. Whereas the Ravan has constant needs. Each and every head has needs. So this is the weakness of Ravan. You stop the supplies, then Ravan becomes, you know, flat. All she has to do now, who is supplying Ravan? Who is the supplier to Ravan? Who is the supplier? Hmm? Uh, ego is Ravan. And who is supplying? Sita. Sita. Sita herself is the only supplier to Ravan. So, just to understand this is intelligent. That Sita is in a powerful position. She can stop the supplies to Ravan. Like even here in this war with uh, Russia, you know, it is like a European, all these countries going to war with Russia. But they are all dependent on the Russia for the gas and fuel and, you know, and, uh, and Russia sees it is completely senseless. You know, you are going to war, but you are relying upon me for the supplies. And so they have to, you know, all countries have to go through inflation. But he, same here also, you know, Sita is realizing that she is the supplier to Ravan and she is in a powerful position. Confused Sita doesn't even see this connection. He's just dumb, you know, just happy that there is a good demand. <laughs> there is a customer, <laughs> you know, she is busy supplying to the enemy. And second thing, Sita realizes that Ravan cannot harm her, even the slightest. She is immortal. If someone, you cannot be harmed, even the slightest, you can go to the terrorist, you know, you can speak to them, you can meet them. Terrorists, they got machine guns, they got bombs. But if you cannot be harmed, even the slightest, then you are in a very powerful position. Sita is like that. Ravan cannot harm her even the slightest. Ravan can frighten anyone, but Ravan cannot harm. These two areas are very strategic. If you realize, to understand this is intelligent. 
because it changes the game completely and to win this game is the biggest thing that anyone can do on this planet we said it is a Raz, Raz secret game to understand this secret game and to win this game is the wisest thing so Sita now realizes she can stop the supplies any at any war to lay the siege you heard this expression you stop the supply routes of the enemy then enemy surrenders you can't continue to war if there are no supplies so here Sita is in a position to lay a siege stop the supplies of Ravan and guarantee defeat to Ravan you can take on any head of Ravan. Some of the heads are big, you know, like heads connected with lust, you know, heads connected with uh, some addictions. They are tough, you know, they are stubborn. Ravan is stubborn, but bigger the head, more stubborn. So here you are taking a position against Ravan. And that is the whole game. You know, when you are in, in light, clarity comes, you are saying, okay, the position is against Ravan and I am going to stop the supplies. Guaranteed success. For example, someone doesn't give cigarettes for one day. You are already a winner. If someone has stopped smoking for one week, I think it is almost gone. Habit is gone. You just need to maintain it afterwards. Agree, no? As opposed to someone is all the time smoking. Someone has not smoked for one week. He's a winner already. You know, because Ravan has become smaller. Same here. When any head of Ravan you take on, you stop the supplies, that head of Ravan will become weaker. But Another route of supply for Ravan are the thoughts. I may not give cigarettes, but I'm thinking of cigarettes all the time. You know, looking at uh, articles on cigarettes. <laughs> Latest <laughs> information about cigarettes. You know, so if I'm doing that, I am feeding Ravan. Thoughts are enough here. So here, if you want to win, stop the physical supplies also stop the supply of thoughts how how can you stop the supplies mind is so minor thought restless can go anywhere how do you stop the supply of thoughts channel your thoughts, channel your thoughts. keep the hmm? yes. yeah yes replace with Beautiful thoughts are good, good. Thoughts. good. You know, we broadly say keep the mind busy beforehand. Don't wait for Ravan to come. Keep the mind busy with Ram. You know, so it may be thoughts of Ram itself, thoughts of um, knowledge, you know, thoughts of meditation, you know, in different practices. Keep the mind busy. Hmm? Yeah, this is a good example of uh, addiction to cigarettes because um, if you make a decision to stop smoking, you have to know the difference between who is making that decision. The ego is making the decision because the ego wants to be smoke free, or somehow the 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 craving for smoking goes away on its own that you don't even have to decide to smoke you just don't want to smoke like yeah even if you force yourself to smoke you can't anymore yeah and i've seen in many people who take this path of spirituality in order to quit drinking or smoking uh they do quit smoking and drinking but the addiction that mind the addictive mind turns into something else sex yeah. or food Mostly yeah. food. A lot of people who quit smoking, they get fat yeah. very fast. Yeah. So how do you know the difference that when you decide to stop some harmful behavior, yeah. from what position are you making that decision? Yeah, yeah, very good. You know what we are seeing 
<clears throat> is you have the option to come behind the line. If I have not come behind the line, if the option is just these 10 heads, that I may stop with one head and it is replaced by another head because you are just in that box. Here you are understanding the option of another possibility. You are replacing this with the with the soul awareness and uh, and that's why it doesn't get replaced with uh, some other head. If we stay in the darkness then that is that is the only option and you know, one head is replaced by another head of Ravan. So we saw here you know stop the supplies you know you can choose any head and choose the big head whichever you consider is a big head that head has to go first and if that head is removed you will see the difference it is like one demon less in the system there is so much peace understand any any head goes there is peace but if the big head goes out of the system there is so much peace and each one need to know what is the big head for oneself. You know, you will see in that big head there is stubbornness and there is a repeated, you know, you are sort of thinking of it again and again. That is your big head. And that is your biggest problem also, reason for sorrow. You might think that that is the source of happiness, but that is a demon underneath, prevents you from from the supreme happiness. So you, you, you need to discriminate, see what is the big head. You know, not wait for this ever proving if this, whichever you think is the big head. Stop the supplies for three days. But to stop the supplies also of thoughts. <coughs> and that head will become unconscious in three days. This is a money back guarantee. <laughs> Anyone can try this three day program from starting from now, you know, the Maya will say start from tomorrow morning, but you are saying I am starting from now, whichever head you know, you know just go for it, you, you won't regret, you will get experience and once one head is removed, as if there is less clutter, you are able to see the other clutter. <laughs> You know, otherwise it is all hiding behind us, the big clutter. So you remove some heads and then you are able to see the other heads that are behind. And you might see the real big head that is there. And if that is removed, then you are, you are the biggest winner. Then rest of the game becomes easy. Program is this, stop the supplies. If once you understand it, here is an enemy, not to cooperate with the enemy is intelligence. <laughs> Otherwise, you are working for the enemy that is not clever. <laughs> Say the enemy, enemy is sorrow, but you are doing what, what the enemy wants. But we said, if you challenge the uh, Ravan, Ravan says, do this, do this. You challenge Ravan. Ravan will start banging the table. Ravan will start creating smoke from his ears and, and nostrils. <laughs> All these things will come. Ravan's rage will come. But you know that Ravan cannot harm you even the slightest. Ravan can try to frighten you, but Ravan cannot harm you. This is why you are in a position to challenge Ravan. Understand that? No? All that has happened, you understood the game better. And once you understand the game better, victory is much, much easier. Most people accept defeat just because it is confusion. They are frightened of this paper tiger and they, they remain defeated. 
you want to add anything say anything Quick wait, is there any role for Rob in this situation or is it purely Sita's like um you know enemy role, uh, purely Sita's enemy? I'm just trying to make sure that I understand. Is there any role whatsoever for Rob? No, just the enemy. Yeah. No, for, for, for Ram. Ram, you say. Yeah, yeah, for, oh, for Ram. So Sita is kind of like you know. Robin is the enemy, and yeah, yeah, it's definitely between Sita and Robin. But I'm yeah. just trying to figure out: is there any role for Ram? For Ram, Ram. Oh, yeah, of course. Ram is the friend of Sita, and Ram plays the active part in the victory of Sita. So in the, this particular instance, what role was Ram? <laughs> in a, I, know, I, I know the story very well. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the moment Sita takes a step against Ravan, Ram is present. Ram is very much involved in your life. I was just wondering why he wasn't sad. I was wondering why he wasn't sad and why Ravan wasn't torturing him. Yeah, yeah. Another person asked me, Ram doesn't take any responsibility here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just letting Sita sort out and not taking. <laughs> now, what is happening there is women's liberation, freedom. <laughs> he is giving complete freedom to Sita to take her decisions. You know, so it is freedom. You know, she believes in that but available to, to intervene if she wants. So that is, you know, remains the friend, remains. In that space, space of uh, Ram, and Ram's kingdom, there is no concept of sorrow. There is love, there is full love, but there is no sorrow. You understand? And the sorrow is not required. You know, if I want to help, I help. Say if the patient comes with some serious problem and to the doctor, doctor doesn't start crying. You know, <laughs> that doesn't help the patient, but he goes to help the patient. Crying is not required. So also here, Ram, Ram is in full wisdom. And in that full wisdom, there is no knowledge of sorrow no concept of sorrow. So what was going on Sita's head when she crossed the line? <laughs> Why did she cross the line? So that's a uh, golden deer would be nice. Temptation. Temptation. She's happy, but another deer would be nice. And, that's, and uh, to cross the line just once is just a change. You know, I'm in the perfect world, but some change is nice to see what is. So just to equate that into somebody's, the person's head, Ram, the higher self, the God, and Sita is, we know Ravan is easiest, that's the vices, that's mm. the bad quality mm. that one has. Uh, is Sita the individual? Yes, all of us. When we said invisible player, invisible traveler, that is invisible soul. So we feed, keep feeding the vice, like our negative qualities. It keeps growing to a larger monster. Yeah. And that's how. Yeah. It's a great analogy. Hmm. So Maya is also temptation. Maya is more like an intelligence in the in our uh, Ravan is a dumb monster. Mm -hmm. I want chocolate. I want chocolate. But Maya is like a rational. cunning, huh? Maya is rational. rational and cunning. So Maya sort of says, you know, no, you know, the chocolate will help you improve your concentration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so he says Maya is the one we are grappling with. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, both. Is always doing these things to you. 
existing how it's going to how it's going to exist. I mean, I mean, there's Maya, the one where Krishna. Both uh, we have to stop Ravan also. You know, uh, when we stop supplies, it 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 is removed from the system. So if that head of Ravan dealing with cigarettes is not there, then you don't think of cigarettes, and there is peace. One person is all the time thinking about cigarettes. You know, competing, struggling you know, getting into comparisons, you know, just trying to overcome his de desperations. Another person is free because that Ravan is not there. And same thing applies to all the heads of Ravan. Each time you remove one head of Ravan, it is replaced with peace and happiness. Peace, happiness, contentment, it continues to increase as these heads of Ravan become small. You are still involved in the world, but we don't need Ravan to be involved with people and world. Like in relationships, you know, Ravan's based relationship, you know, some other person is not there, I'm unhappy. And you are blaming the other person, why you are not there, you know, I was feeling lonely, I was unhappy, this kind of thing. Ravan is not there, you enjoy the company, but you are also enjoying your own company. You. There is no sorrow taken. So, in every head of Ravan has its, you know, complications. Hmm? And that's what we want to remove. But Maya, we have to deal with Maya's cleverness also. We said that is intelligence. The Maya will come constantly. You know, new forms of Maya will come. Like here, Maya says later. How, what is the antidote you will use? No. Now. No. So Ram tells you now or never. Now or never. Maya says do it later. Anything good, do it later. And Ram says no, do it now. And it is a good culture. Anything good, right, don't delay it. Because in between Maya can come. Do it now. Maya will say, it is difficult, what will Ram tell you? It is easy, easy Raj Yoga. Anything you say easy, it becomes easy. If you say it is difficult, it becomes difficult. Some states of hysteria, they say, I can't move. You know, they are sitting there, they say, I can't move. You know, they can run also, but just the mind tells them, I can't do this. And easy things. I can't move, I can't eat. And they, they someone has to look after them afterwards. But here, when you say it is easy, it becomes easy. You say it is difficult, it becomes difficult. Maya says you are weak. What Ram tells? We use the word Shakti. Shakti is the goddess that rides lions. So if you can ride lions, <laughs> <laughs> you are strong. <laughs> so Maya says it's a long process. At this, in this life, you can plan. Next life, you stop. <laughs> what What does Ram tell you? It's a game of a second. You can stop any wrong habit now. It is a. There is no need of a long, long process. It is good to know this, you know, just to say, bizarre, Maya's arguments are so bizarre, and to say that these all wasteful things, I can drop them now. Maya will come with different excuses. Like one person said to me, this is like a not very you know, recent, that since cigarettes are bad for me, they should be bad for the bacteria. <laughs> so if I smoke, all these bacteria will die. <laughs> so they were all clever arguments, Maya's cleverness. So we can use the brain to think of solutions. Maya will use the brain to think of excuses in every situation. 
Maya will come with doubts. How do you deal with this? We use the word Nishche, which means you have to beforehand look into the ideas and bring yourself the level of being sure. You know, be so clear about it that there is no room for doubt in the future. That's why we encourage any questions, whatever questions you have now or in the future, ask them until you are so sure about every aspect. And if you have that foundation is strong, there is no room for doubt. Otherwise, it is not based on faith. Faith means there is room for doubt. Understand? No? But when there is certain, you are clear, there is no room for doubt. Faith means F-A-I-T-H? Yes, yes, yeah, 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 F-A-I-T-H. Yeah, like for example, I don't say I have faith that there is a chair here. I can see the chair. You know, and there is, you are certain. <clears throat> busy. Maya says you are busy. How do you deal with it? Time. Yeah, you keep yourself busy beforehand. They remain busy with Ram, then Maya won't keep you busy. So we need to stop Maya's, all the, Maya has got trump cards. They are very powerful trump cards. If you let Maya, just one, if you say it is difficult, that's end of the game. And Sita is out of the ring. If you let, understand, no? it's like a trump card. You know, Sita can say, I'm going, <laughs> whatever. Uh, isn't faith actually the counter or the opposite of doubt? You have to face faith, there be no doubt. Yeah. So have certainty, but not faith. But I'm saying, don't you have to have faith? Be yeah. Wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are saying uh, another word that is like being certain or sure or we bring yourself to the level of clarity but not faith, not enough at that level. You know, if someone tells me and I believe it, belief is not enough, faith is not enough. I have to find a way to come to experience but bring our, ourselves to the level of certainty, every aspect of knowledge. <clears throat> we use this image of the eagle, you know, eagle and the chicken, you know. So the, the, if someone gives you a hint that you are an eagle, then use the wings and discover the eagle. Prove the eagle to yourself and prove the sky to yourself then it is not faith that I am a eagle, it is not a faith that there is a sky, but you have used the wings, you have experienced. I take the point, faith is the starting point, right? Faith has to start. Uh, faith is the starting, the baseline, and then you develop that into certainty, right? Yes, you know, uh, as long as that is not the destination. If it stays at the level of faith, then the doubt can come. So the Maya, Maya exists is because of the physiological structure of the body. Uh, it's the end experience for anyone accepting any of this Maya's thing. It's a temporary feel good, and uh, so it it happens all the time, and uh, so no, nobody is probably immune from the Maya. Hmm. Yeah, Maya. These are like the players, you know. But we are in the game to win. 
at once you know when we uh, it is like building muscles hmm? as we start using this approach then you know it works and you know, as you apply it works and then why not as you see you stop the supplies you know and then you will continue to see the results if anyone who wins this game you are very intelligent and you deserve the biggest prize and there is a law we said earlier that in every game has winners losers also in this game there are winners losers if you are winning this game even in a trying it playing with it compared to anyone else in the world you are already winner understand no? but there is a possibility of winning this quickly and you deserve the biggest prize in the world some types are easy to identify mm. cigarettes alcohol less. Yeah. if we get rid of those how do we identify what some of the other ones are if we're not really sure yeah yeah good and as was said before you remove some clutter and then you can see the other remaining clutter you know you are george bush he noticed it he thought removing saddam hussein will solve the problem so he removed saddam hussein and realized that there are more 10 more saddam hussein there you remove them there are another 100 saddam hussein it was not easy <laughs> one one saddam hussein was keeping everyone in control the so same thing happens here also <coughs> when you remove some big head you might see the other heads but we are in the process of cleansing cleansing the system you know, in the past we covered it up you know pushed it down you know now you are removing and the big head might <coughs> what you were saying be hiding other things and that as we kind of remove the layers we can start to see the other things underneath yeah but by that time you are already the winner you know the tools you know and uh, you got the right method so you know what wins and so it becomes easy to remove the uh, other heads they are more subtle you know the ego subtle things but it, they become ob blatant uh, obvious as as you start you know you are in this game you know and uh, it is your you develop the skill to observe You know, just one more. You want to add anything? Yeah. So there is a certain certainty when we are certain, and then there is stubbornness, right? Uh -huh. How do we? What is the distinguish? difference? Distinguish Stubborn. and uh, discern, basically. Sure, sure. You know, when uh, Ravan comes, we use the word stubbornness when it comes from Ravan when the same energy is used by sita it becomes determination energy is good but as if you are using it for the angel then it is determination if a demon is using it we call it stubbornness Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone here, um, or I, I'm not sure if I'm alone or not. I know this is a group of very um, enlightened people, um, but I feel like I've created a huge Maya in my life. Um, I'm single, so I can make any decision I want. 
and I can cancel every decision I make. Um, and I've lived with that understanding. Um, so when it is difficult, I say, this is difficult, you know, I'm too busy. Um, you know, so, and, and actually this is why I'm here this weekend is to, is to help myself be, um, better directed. Um, so my understanding then would be to, to remove Maya would be with consciousness. Um, and, um, with continued consciousness and, um, anyway, it's just interesting to me how many, how huge my pal Maya has been with me for so long. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, as you said, it's a story of everyone. Mm -hmm. All the sitas are in this similar situation, similar game. But now we are getting the tools to win. And, and as you win, you make it easy for others to win. <clears throat> also about uh, Ram who could easily be pulled in with Sita by Sita's actions and his you know being close with her may also go towards um, towards you know catching that deer yeah and you know for you know together yeah as a couple, you know, as a friend, you know, as a friend, yes. you know. Yeah. Ram is, is fully in the job. It is just that Sita has to do her part. You know, that is what we are. We have to do our side. There's a saying, you know, Ram says, you take one step, Ram takes ten steps. It is a bit like that, but she has to take the step. I'm thinking of my children, yeah. you know, as I lead them through adulthood now, you know, what, what they're seeing and how I can easily pull them in down with me if I don't yes. um, pull up the consciousness. Yes. Yeah. This story is uh, written, it is on one of the web pages, uh, Sarah might give you the details. I want to encourage you to, uh, if it is possible, to listen to the recording, but uh, also read that it is there in the printed form. And uh, we need to understand the game and definitely start taking steps. Uh, I went into the details of this story because to win this game, you are the wisest person on the planet, whether you call it spiritual intelligence or not. <laughs> what we are saying here is, this is the right of everyone. It is not a right of few, it is for everyone to win. And there is a saying, you win over Maya, you are lucky through life. You know? But if you are defeated by Maya, then one is unlucky through life. This is the, like the equation that exists. And uh, whatever happened in this life, we are here, but now we have the option to use the skills. <clears throat> more you use them, they just get more refined, they get better. More you use paras, paras become stronger. Same thing applies to everything. But you are in that upward spiral. So definitely take those steps. <clears throat> Let us create another minute of silence. Thank you.
I was in one gathering in some other country and in a hospital, medical college. <coughs> and uh, one consultant in that hospital he came to me towards the end and he said, This is late for me to, to hear this now is late because I have got uh, heart problems, I have you know bypass operations, I still have pains and I should have learned this 20 years earlier, you know, now it is already late. And I told him it is not late because most people find out about this, they feel that they should have changed at the last, last moment, <laughs> you know, before death, that is when they, they realize that they should have done things differently. You know, there is a nice saying or some lines in the scripture or Gita. There are two lines. They say, <clears throat> the lives of ordinary human beings is of anxious lust and lustful anxiety. The whole life, when I get it, I want more, more, more. Anxiety about getting things. And will I lose it? Anxious lust and lustful anxiety. And that death is a death of a failure. Everyone dies the death of a failure. This is what this statement of regret and repentance. Because everything that they worked for, they achieved, they are losing it. The last moment is not a moment of, wow, look at this. I achieved so much. That is not the moment in that time. Not in not an ordinary life. Ordinary life may die as a loser. If any time, if this moment we are told you are going to take away your family, take away all your gold, and take away your job, you are not going to say, Wow, I had a nice forty years there. You don't say that. You see, it is not a loser. The same thing happens at the last moment. You know, but not many people are questioning this. You know, and this is nice. This concept of leapfrogging. I feel small children and school children and every every school and college. They need this experience of meeting celebrities. <laughs> they should spend some hours of their life with some celebrities. You know, and just they want to achieve, they want to become this celebrity. That is their big idea of success. And go and meet them. Like one nice, uh, uh, one interview I was hearing with John Lennon. This was an interview with the BC in 1975. <clears throat> and, and John Lennon says, My life is a torture. Uh, and he says, a Torture. You know, various things, small things that happen. He says, I so sensitive. I mind it and I, I take this my sorrow. Someone releases music, he says, I suffer. They, they didn't consult me, they didn't show it to me before. That is his demand about it. And then next line he says, it is because of my ego. He he understands, he sees, you know, what exactly is going on. He says, it is my ego. So, here is, you know, success. Not many people can claim success on the scale of John Lennon. And after all this success, if you are saying life is a torture, Everyone wants to know what is going on here. You know, we were in, uh, in one of the staying in a hotel overnight, uh, Michigan in that, uh, state, <clears throat> and there was a, a big television screen. We were waiting for something, and the television screen was an interview with Pearson. You know, he's a baseball player, a 
to success. And they showed that the, how schools and the, you know, during the previous times, and there are people, oh, I was there that game, and it was a sort of yeah, all the uh, comments and how exciting it was for them to be there at that moment when the ball was called. And he's now retired, and he says, I'm depressed. Yeah. It was all there, it was all me, but I'm depressed. You know, and they are showing all his goals. Uh, um, we, people need to meet the celebrities. That is that should be an important subject in every school. <laughs> you know, statistics tells us that eight out of ten celebrities are taking psychology or psychiatry treatment just because after going there, spending your forty years, fifty years, and to realize it then, and you have to change. The direction again, start all over again. They're sensible to find out now what you want to achieve, what is that you want to reach. We also saw <clears throat> that you know, most people, I'm talking here, you know, I mean, I, it won't be exaggeration, 99% of the people, their ideas of success is making the <laughs> beggar successful. Because that is what you have. Once you cross the line, your life is ruled by that Ravan. You know, Ravan is in charge. And uh, Ravan is a demon, but Ravan is also a beggar. Ravan is also a victim. That is the inbuilt me mechanism of Ravan's personality. And, and we are just trying to make Ravan successful. This is what is going on without knowing it. And in the process, Ravan is getting bigger. Why John Lennon? He, he did not say life is a torture in the 1960s. He is saying this is a torture in the 70s. Why? What happened in these 10 years? Ravan became bigger. That's all. And bigger Ravan has more, more misery. And the bigger Ravan is a bigger victim. Bigger Ravan is a bigger beggar. You know, so all the problems increase because we are in the reverse gear. And this is with the whole world. You know? And on uh, yesterday we saw that statistics with Oliver James. He says we got prosperity, we got success, we got technology, but there is failure of success. This is what is going on. And so, since this is what is going on, what can we do? What is the other, other way we can do lead our life? This is the, still the only option. Reach there and then after that, that anxious lust and lust for anxiety. Is that the only option? That we have something different? What we saw in this, then obviously, answer is come out of this. You know, line come on the other side of the line. You know, become free from the Ravan based. Life. We have the other option, but this is not straightforward. This is what our discussion was. It is not that we hear the <clears throat> talk, we attend the retreat, and great. Now I'm okay. You know, I understood it. It is straightforward. Ravan and Maya are accompanying us all the time for the next, next rest of the life. <laughs> Ravan and Maya will accompany. The game is like this. You know, so we might as well prepare ourselves to know it and to win the game. To, act, to be the uh, Ravan and Maya is there doesn't mean a defeat. In a game, you know, um, any game, you know, the other side sends the ball and you have a chance to score. To, someone sends a ball doesn't mean you, de you are defeated. You know, to, you need to learn this game and then you know, every, all the opportunities come, they become opportunities for you to progress.
rest is cold. And uh, it is a different game altogether. Feel free, this is a nice opportunity for us to ask any, any question on any subject in this area. But uh, it is success. <coughs> One aspect for us to be aware of is when we are seeing with full light in a parallel aspect, we realize that we ourselves are invisible. That is an exciting thing, but it is different. Even in the last hour, for example, during the break, how did you see yourselves? Very likely saw yourselves as a <clears throat> male or female bodily being. That is the motive, that is the drama below, this bodily part that is going on. The real you and me are invisible. You and me. That is what this big message is. This whole dimension is invisible. If I use paras, then it is very obvious and vivid. But ordinarily invisible, so you think it is less important. You know, what is gross appears to be important. Okay? And here you are changing that positioning. There's a cross world, we totally agree with, with that. We say, if you are performing a, a drama performance, you need a cardboard stage, cardboard masks, cardboard material for the drama. But that is for the drama. So also here, in this drama, you need gross things. It's are at that level. But Paras understands that our reality is subtle. It makes it interesting, <coughs> but opens the door. That leapfrogging is possible if we take this step. You know, because otherwise we stay at the gross level, below the line. And if there is no other option, then join the Ravan's club. Yeah, that is the in spite of knowing will be to come beyond we have to start with Paras, make Paras stronger. Every minute we play with it, it will just become stronger <coughs> with hobby. Sometimes people say, I understand why I'm still getting these feelings, why I'm sometimes sad, I'm getting pulled into something, some awareness. You know, we are students. As students, we have to put certain things in place. You know, just like a, some, some practice, some training. If you are playing some game, you may have to build muscles. Here, we need to build paras, you will never regret. And you know, this applies to each and everyone. You know, create these minutes, minutes where you are training yourselves to see from beyond the subtle. And we use the word alokic, it means unearthly. Beyond this, at this level is all logic. This dimension is unlocking. That is nice. So it is invisible, but it is the world of the family. But a logic family. At the gross level is a drama family. The gross level is a drama house and the drama room. But at the gross level, at the unlocking level is the true family, true home. <clears throat> and this is not just for meditation, even right now, as we are just playing with it even, 
you are already using Paris and it is becoming stronger. You are just grasping this, grappling with this, you know, another reality. And you discover there is the biggest prize anyone can ever win. That is why the big challenge, Maya, Ravan, these are big enemies. They are very challenging you because there is the biggest prize behind it. Even otherwise, say they are terrorists, big terrorists. They will not go and attack some small someone's house. It's a hut. No, they will go for the tallest building. <laughs> you agree? They will go for the, you know, whatever is the big, big and main. <coughs> you know, the, the biggest hotel or some parliament house. That is where they will go <coughs> for to attack, to block. So also here, here is the biggest prize. And no comparison to anything. It's fine. To start with, it is. Uh, let us come in the experience of it. That all archaic dimension is a world of immortality. Everyone is immortal. There is no death, and there is no harm, and. Uh, Everyone is divine. But, like here, in any interaction, anywhere, there is some kind of a you have to be careful because it may be you don't know there is what is going on. But the others might be trying to trick you, trying to cheat you. There is some kind of a defense going on in our inside us. Whereas at this level, it is a divine. No one needs anything from you. And no one can harm you. But such is that one. Even if someone wants to harm you, you are beyond harm. And that makes you completely carefree, fully content, and fully in peace. Not all the inauspicious feelings. They are not there. That's why we are using the word divine. No demon. When the Ravan represents the demon, and all the inauspicious feelings, anxiety, cunningness, eating, anything that is inauspicious, that comes only in the Ravan's camp. If demon is not there, what remains is divine. Ultimate, you can't have this prize say, when you have crossed the line. You may have, you know, like success, like as we are talking, whether the John Lennon kind or anyone else, success. But we are dealing with your own when beggar and the victim and the demon. You know, so are in a reverse gear, it is getting bigger every year. Such is the life that is led. <clears throat> clear? Am I clear? So this is the very, very, uh, it is like a congratulations for this gathering, for making, taking this step to understand. But the big thing we can do to ourselves is come in the experience of it. We understand, but come in the experience. That is what will create in you that certainty that we spoke earlier. This knowledge is not on the level of faith or belief. That means nothing. There are so many ideas and beliefs. But come in the experience and that will help you understand what you can offer to your own children, for example. Not really. There are many people you love and you want to give them the best. You will want to make them into just another, you know, like what everyone else is doing, you know, run after some celebrities, you know, in the, be in the Facebook, what is it, 
for following up some Twitter follow up camp. Mm -hmm. Influence, <laughs> yes. Is that the highest they can do? You know, here there is a leapfrogging. Is this you bypass that whole department? You are choosing something now rather than spending your 20 years, 40 years trying to achieve something and then realize that I should do something different. You know, go for this. It is possible. You might be able to offer this to people around, you know, but you will do it if you yourselves have experience. We said earlier that in this life you discover the ultimate currency, you have got the ultimate prize, and then you are quite happy to come here, play the game. The positioning is different. You are playing the game not as a beggar, not as a victim, but you are playing the game. But you are a winner already, you know, because you are you are out of Ravan's. So you have one over Maya and Ravan. What everyone else is doing, they are already defeated. You know, that's why Maya is in charge, Ravan is in charge, and in the reverse gear, and then there is a progress. That is what is happening. You know, if you love them, you wouldn't like to let them go in that direction, and then afterwards say that they wasted their time, they should have done something different. But the highest thing we can offer to others is not just say do change change go to go to, to believe in God that is not you want to hear but if you have experience that is what will give them the message your body language will give the message let us hear some thoughts from you or any comments questions Lip frogging. <laughs> yes. So, so one one word that caught my attention is uh, the ultimate currency, the word, and then it comes to the lip frogging. Uh, I am trying to interpret in my, my own words, uh, we are bypassing the failure of success and we are leapfrogging to what really matters, right? Yeah. So I was, I was just thinking what really matters in the long term or for the current state of the world, not only for the world in general, but me in particular, from being stuck in this world of Maya Ravan to to my real noble self. So the bridge that builds is definitely the realization. Uh, realization is one thing, but uh, making it into an experience and making an experience into a power, the power of your presence speaks the truth. And that would be the ultimate currency. Nice. So the question would be around how do you make it happen? Understanding to experience to power. Sure. And that we saw that um, everyone is powerful already. If they are tied, then they lose power. Every time they get into a bondage and as they get into more bondages, they are losing power. As you become free from bondages, you discover your power. Every minute you are taking this step, you are continuing to become free. Uh, 
I'll tell you one, uh, one story, one more story. You like stories? In this story, one, one, in a farm, you know, in a pig farm, one insect was on the back of a pig. This insect finds a patch of mud in the back of the pig. He says, wow, look at this. I got this big land and this land is in a prime location. He is very impressed with what he found. He was busy building a fence and putting notices, trespassers will be shot. These are the notices you put here? Yeah, so, uh, notices. So, that uh, sound is okay. So, this um, yeah, one eagle comes to this insect. And the eagle says, Do you want to become the eagle? Do you want to come to the sky? And she says, Sky? What is that sky? I will show you the world beyond the clouds. You will see the sun. I will show you the mountains and the valleys. I will show you the trees. I will show you animals. I will also show you the pig. You will see this pig properly. I will bring you back here. So this uh, insect says, appears very, very interesting. But I don't want to let go of this land. I found this um, amazing land and how can I just drop it and go? But a week later, you come again, I, I want to join you. So eagle comes again a week later. Sky, you want to come? He says, now I found more land. These are like the time of opportunities, exciting. So this is not a time to go, but a week later, by that time I would have finished paperwork and council you know, requirements. <laughs> so uh, Eagle says, okay, Eagle comes again a week later, do you want to come to the sky? He says, now I got some cracks in my land, I'm busy fixing cracks. I myself need help here, you know, so how can I just drop it and go? So I'm not coming now, maybe sometime later. This is our story. <laughs> I was telling this story to one gathering and one person, students in, in Oxford. One student said, my life is cracks and more cracks. <laughs> I reached that level. <laughs> I got land and now I'm fixing cracks. And someone else said, I'm doing PhD on cracks, mm -hmm. on fixing cracks. So third person asked, what should I do? Should I finish my PhD or should I go to the sky? What do you think? What is your answer? I already got funding and I, I completed Two years, I got another year to complete. Should I finish PhD and then look into this? Or should I drop it and go to the sky? Complete? Complete, complete PhD. Finish it. Do both. Do both. But doesn't matter. Doesn't what doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. 
<laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> and what are what are the ideas? Right, yeah. You know, in this context. Hmm? Priority. Priority. Yeah. When this option we said for us one side is the Ravan's camp, other side is angelic world. I will not compromise this by one second. This come into the sky, discover this uh, ultimate prize, help others also come there to the sky, discover that. And, uh, and if you still feel that completing the PhD may be useful, a <laughs> good use of your time, go there. As an eagle, you don't have to stay as an insect for one second longer in the in the context. Hmm? And literally for us, this is the biggest leap for you. You know, land will come, bigger lands will come. Not only land will come, someone will sing a song also there, the big song. <laughs> You know, so there are lots of things going on there. New cakes will come, but you understand the option that you have is something beyond comparison. Then you are the very wise. And if you are choosing this, then you are the wisest. Go for that experience. In that you win, in the present you win, for the future, as was said, if you win over Maya, you win through your future, you, know, you are worthy of prizes, but also you contribute to the victory of the human race. There is a future for human race if they shift in the consciousness, then there is uh, hope for the human race. At this level, what? In that, uh, one professor in Cambridge by name Martin Rees, astronomy professor, his book is called Final Century. He says there are, um, gives 11 or 12 reasons why the destruction is imminent. He calls this century the final century. And he literally says it is not possible to change even. Yes, so here is the situation. At this level, that we, do, we can't offer much to anyone. But we have the option. Because something most precious we can offer to the world. Those whom you love, but even larger world. We are talking about here, without words, just one bird flies, second bird flies, the whole flock flies. This is the game. It, I'm making it easy, not it sounds easy, but we also saw all along Maya will come and Maya will not come in a, in a rough kind of way. I have come with its intelligence, cunning intelligence. Just as you are using spiritual intelligence, Maya is also having its own intelligence. Agree? And it will come because it has something that and it has got trump cards. It will use it. But you, you got uh, antidotes. You have to play this game, and I. Play the game until you win. Then it is intelligence. True intelligence is at this level. If you can win this, that's most most significant game, Raz. Let us create a few min more minutes of uh, attention practice. But if you want to say anything, feel free also, please hands, great time. But right now, we'll create 
opportunities for practice. When we use the word paras, that makes the whole thing easy because for paras, this alokic dimension, the subtle dimension is obvious and natural. It is not saying it is having belief, it is it can see things clearly. Paras. Just like having a sight, the blind person gets a sight, then he can see things. So he sees clearly the physical world has a story, which means it has got a variety of characters, variety of plots. Everything is in place. In the, in the story, there are jokers, there are villains, there are good guys. The story is complete. Different things happening, different episodes in the past. There's nothing to complain about, nothing to worry about. Nothing matters. There are so many stories, this is just another story. We are able to come beyond the story. And beyond the story is silence. There is no noise of the story. Beyond the story is the real world. In the story, it is fiction. Things come, go, it is like a different episodes finish, the episodes start. Beyond is the real world. And this is an eternal world. <coughs> we see this dimension in, in an image of a sky. We see it in color. This time we, we may see this in gentle red color. Expanse of light. And in this sky is the true family. They all are like living stars in this unlimited sky. We see that this is the main, main thing. This is a true family and true home. In this world, no one needs anything. No vibration of the beggar. No one can ever be harmed, even the slightest. No vibration of the victim. No concept of sorrow. No vibration of a demon. What remains is angelic peace.
and angelic happiness. Family of angelic souls. We can use the word divine. Word divine family. All immensely lovely and loving. Forever. This dimension is like this forever. As we just direct our attention in this world, that favors the soul. This favors the true self. True self become conscious. And for the one who is conscious, then it is the biggest milestone. For him it is so normal to be like a star. It is normal to be immortal. Normal not to need anything from anywhere. Normal to be beyond harm. It is so natural to see his independence from the story. Story is separate, completely separate, and his life is separate. He's seeing all this in an emerged way. Not as a meditation commentary, but he's seeing it. His world. It's like a wonderland world where there is no concept of desire, no concept of sorrow, any kind, nothing inauspicious. That's why region beyond belief. World of God, world with God. All we have done, we just use the right instrument, right intellect. And we discover the biggest prize that is ever possible. That literally helps the self to become conscious. As we continue on our journey in the sky, on earth, the invisible soul, he knows he is lucky, he remains lucky. He knows everyone is lucky. They are lucky, everyone is lucky. All that is required is they becoming conscious. <coughs> Thank you.
Thank you. May I ask who had good concentration in the last five minutes? meditation practices sometimes it is easier to go for the best understand no? like if you are eagle go in the sky don't think you have to spend one week half halfway then you're neither in the sky nor here so go for the the highest and go for the best from the first day Use the best, best intellect, best sight for the plant that way, and you discover it is possible. If you are an angel, be the angel from the first day, trainee angel. <laughs> it may be for one minute, but go for it. You want to add anything? As we're addressing Robin and Maya, to, I don't want to give the microphone. As we're addressing the biggest head, Robin and Maya, how else can we strengthen hearts? Sure. <coughs> The strengthening Paris is like a, another parallel effort. In this, you are, uh, this sketch is a very useful sketch for, it is Paris perspective. All that is happening in Paris, you are seeing what is, what is subtle and you are seeing what is broad you are seeing the complete picture so you are playing with it for even one minute and, and seeing this Paris perspective the very fact that you are using it that will that favors the, the angel and uh, if you are helping the angel demon become smaller. Paras favors the angel, Pathar favors the demon. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want to say? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Tools would be meditation and then self-introspection. Like everything need to be. No, I just I was just reiterating the tools would be like meditation, self-introspection and things like that. Uh, or to improving to answer the, the question. Improving powers. Yeah. Uh, the word meditation is right. Uh, but if we follow the the right meditation understand no? and that's why the emphasis on just using paras itself is a meditation 
but the words are right here. Yeah. So the right meditation will be Raja meditation. Yeah. But in the, within that, I'm emphasizing, you know, seeing the subtle and uh, seeing the perspective from the soul. Using this, Paras, then the mind is busy experiencing these alokic feelings, positive feelings. You know, so mind can only experience one or the other. Mind is not cannot experience happiness and also some complaints. That is not happening. You know, so you come into this mind life many things may be going on but the moment soul is conscious your feelings emotions attitudes they are all okay. they're different and and then other things stop you you solve things you know what is going on in the story but they don't create emotions or thoughts on you there are no Ravan based thoughts. If Ravan based thoughts are there, it means we have crossed the line. It is not Paras. Ravan is still alive and active. 